Why does gold turn red or aluminum become explosive when shrunk to the nanoscale? That's the core of the size-dependent property paradox, where materials behave completely differently at the nanoscale than they do in bulk, even though they're made of the exact same atoms. In the macroscopic world, materials have predictable properties. Gold is yellow and shiny, graphite conducts electricity, and ceramics are brittle. But shrink these down to just a few nanometers and suddenly, color, conductivity, strength, melting point, and reactivity can all radically change. Example, bulk gold is chemically inert, but gold nanoparticles become powerful catalysts. Why? Because at such tiny sizes, quantum effects, surface area, and atomic interactions dominate. So what exactly changes when we go nano? At this scale, a large fraction of atoms sit on the surface, where they experience different forces than atoms deep inside. Electrons are confined in such small volumes that quantum confinement alters their behavior, changing energy levels, light, absorption, and conductivity. Analogy, it's like taking a symphony orchestra and shrinking it into a single violin string. The music is still there, but it sounds totally different. The size-dependent property paradox reveals that same material doesn't mean same behavior, and this realization is what fuels the entire field of nanotechnology where old materials take on radically new identities. Why do materials shrunk to nanometer dimensions, just a few dozen to a few thousand atoms, suddenly display colors, melting points, magnetic behaviors, and chemical reactivities utterly unlike their bulk counterparts? Classical material science treats properties as intrinsic to chemical composition and crystal structure, yet at the nanoscale, surface effects, quantum confinement, and altered energy landscapes rewrite the rulebook so far so good until we recognize that simply scaling down a piece of gold or iron should not in principle change its electronic band structure or magnetic domain behavior. In practice, gold nanoparticles appear vividly red or blue rather than lustrous yellow. Iron oxide particles below tilde 20N lose stable ferromagnetism and become super paramagnetic. Even the melting point of tin drops by hundreds of degrees when particles shrink below till 10, till 10. These observations defy the continuum assumptions of bulk materials, exposing a paradox where size alone governs entirely new phenomena. At its core, the paradox hinges on the surface to volume ratio and quantum confinement. As particle size decreases, a growing fraction of atoms reside at surfaces or interfaces where coordination numbers drop and bond strengths shift. Surface atoms possess higher free energy and more dangling bonds, enhancing chemical reactivity and lowering cohesive energies, hence melting point depression and catalytic hotspots on platinum or palladium nanoparticles. Um, simultaneously, when particle dimensions approach the electron's de Broglie wavelength, electrons become confined, forcing discrete energy levels to emerge in place of continuous bands. This quantization alters optical absorption, quantum dots glow in tunable hues, and shifts electronic transport properties as seen in semiconductor nanocrystals. Yet even this molecular scale view conceals deeper layers. Crystal facets, edge sites, and defect distributions vary dramatically from one nanoparticle to another, creating a spectrum of local electronic environments. A single gold nanorod may exhibit different catalytic activity at its ends versus its sides. Platinum clusters of identical size can show wildly divergent hydrogen adsorption energies depending on precise atomic arrangement. Moreover, quantum tunneling between closely spaced particles introduces collective effects, plasmonic coupling in metal nanoparticle arrays or enhanced conductivity in percolating networks that elude any description based on isolated, perfectly shaped particles. At even finer scales, thermodynamic fluctuations, phono confinement, and electron phonon coupling come into play. Vibrational modes in nanoparticles are no longer bulk phonons, but discrete vibrations that modify heat capacity and thermal conductivity. Electron scattering at surfaces and grain boundaries dominates resistivity, while electron hole recombination dynamics in semiconductor nanostructures define photoluminescence lifetimes. 
These miscoscopic phenomena require a multi-scale approach, merging atomistic simulations with quantum electrodynamics to predict behaviors that classical continuum equations simply cannot capture. In essence, the size-dependent property paradox reminds us that size does more than scale, it transforms. When dimensions shrink to the nano-regime, materials become emergent systems, whose properties arise from a complex web of surface chemistry, quantum mechanics, and statistical fluctuations. Like other deep paradoxes, from hysteresis loops to quantum retrocausality, this phenomenon challenges our foundational assumptions and beckons us toward a richer, multi-scale understanding of nature's behavior. The size-dependent property paradox observes that materials reduced to nanometer dimensions often display electrical, optical, thermal, and mechanical properties dramatically different from their bulk form. At these scales, surface atoms outnumber interior ones, and quantum confinement alters energy levels, making classical continuum descriptions inadequate. As a result, nanoparticles, nanowires, and thin films can behave like entirely new substances, despite identical chemical composition. This paradox challenges the assumption that material properties are intrinsic and size independent. Bulk gold is yellow and inert, whereas gold nanoparticles under 100 pm appear ruby red and catalytically active. It is like gravel that, when ground to dust, suddenly glows in the dark and conducts electricity. In bulk materials, properties such as melting point, electrical conductivity, and magnetism are governed by averaged, long-range interactions among vast numbers of atoms. At the nanoscale, however, the reduced dimensionality and amplified surface effects introduce discrete energy states altered phonon spectra, and enhanced reactivity. These size-dependent phenomena lead to non-intuitive behaviors like superparamagnetism in tiny ferromagnetic particles or dramatically lowered melting points in nanoscale metals. Thus, nanoscale materials cannot be treated as mere miniaturized versions of their bulk counterparts. Iron oxide nanoparticles lose permanent magnetism below tilde 20 m, yet become strongly magnetizable in an applied field. It is like a herd of elephants that behave calmly together, but a small pack of mice reacts wildly to the slightest sound. As size decreases, the fraction of atoms at or near the surface increases sharply, so surface energy and atomistic coordination dominate thermodynamic and kinetic properties. High surface energy drives phenomena such as enhanced catalytic activity, lower melting temperatures and altered mechanical strength. Surface atoms having fewer neighbors are more reactive, leading to behaviors like spontaneous sintering or oxidation not seen in bulk. Therefore, nanoscale materials act as though they are composed of a distinct phase defined by surface physics. Platinum nanocatalysts accelerate fuel cell reactions many times faster than bulk platinum due to billions of surface atoms. It is like a group of people where every member is at the edge of a circle. Each person has more neighbors to interact with, intensifying group dynamics. When particle dimensions approach the electron's de Broglie wavelength, the allowed energy levels become quantized, widening band gaps in semiconductors and shifting optical absorption. This quantum confinement causes quantum dots to fluoresce in tunable colors based purely on their size. Electrons and holes become spatially confined, altering electrical conductivity and carrier mobility compared to bulk crystals. These discrete energy states underlie many emerging nanophotonic and nanoelectronic applications. Cadmium selenide quantum dots emit blue light at 2 nm diameter and red light at 8 nm despite identical composition. It is like a violin string that plays higher notes when shortened simply because of its reduced length. Surface defects, dangling bonds, and adsorb species create localized electronic states that can trap charge carriers or scatter phonons, modifying electrical resistance and thermal conductivity. Nanostructures often exhibit suppressed thermal transport as phonons scatter at boundaries, making them effective thermoelectric materials. Thus, surface electronic and vibrational modes become crucial determinants of nanoscale properties. 
silicon nanowires show drastically reduced thermal conductivity due to enhanced phonon boundary scattering. It is like shouting into a narrow canyon. Sound echoes differently because the walls disrupt wave propagation. Many nanoscale phenomena exhibit threshold behavior. Below a critical size, materials switch abruptly from one property regime to another, such as from ferromagnetic to superparamagnetic or from semiconducting to insulating. These nonlinear transitions reflect cooperative effects among confined electrons or spins and cannot be extrapolated linearly from larger sizes. Identifying these critical dimensions is vital for designing nanoscale devices with predictable behavior. Gold clusters below tilde 2M abruptly lose metallic conductivity and become molecular in character. It is like water turning into steam at 100 DC, a small change in temperature triggers a completely different state. The paradox offers both opportunities and challenges. Engineers can exploit size-tainable optical, electronic, and catalytic properties to create sensors, drug deliverers, and energy devices. However, reliably harnessing these effects requires precise control over shape, size distribution, and surface chemistry. Understanding size-dependent behavior allows the bottom-up design of materials with bespoke functionalities unattainable in bulk. Silver nanowires are used in flexible, transparent electrodes that combine conductivity with bendability. It is like building custom tailable Lego bricks whose connectivity changes depending on their individual dimensions. Accurately characterizing nanoscale properties demands instrumentation such as transmission electron microscopy, scanning tunneling probes, and single particle spectroscopy with atomic resolution and minimal perturbation. Modeling these systems pushes beyond continuum theories into quantum mechanical and molecular dynamic simulations, which are computationally intensive. Bridging scales from atomic interactions to device behavior remains a key obstacle. Simulating heat flow in nanocomposites requires calculating billions of individual phonon scatterings at interfaces. It is like predicting city traffic one vehicle at a time, rather than using aggregate flow equations. Advances in machine learning, accelerated multi-scale modeling promise to predict size-dependent properties across vast compositional and morphological spaces. Self-assembly techniques aim to produce uniform nanostructures at scale, reducing variability in size-dependent behavior. Exploring emergent quantum phenomena in two-dimensional materials and topological nanostructures may unlock entirely new classes of functional materials. Ultimately, resolving the size-dependent property paradox will deepen our mastery of matter at its most fundamental scales. Predictive AI models are now screening millions of nanoparticle compositions to identify candidates for high-efficiency solar cells. It is like using a crystal ball that not only shows the future, but reveals all the hidden layers beneath the present world.